Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Chatura from NDVFX and in this video we are going to take a look at how to save effects presets inside Adobe Audition. For example, uh, you are working with a client on a regular basis and you want to do uh, the voiceover processing for this client uh, regularly or if you are working on a podcast series uh, day to day basis it is a very good idea to keep a, a saved effect track and you can easily add those uh, effect track uh, when you get a new uh, episode uh, from your podcast or from your client. So let's take a look at. So this is the audio file and first uh, we need to add necessary effects to this uh, audio file. Let's say we want to add like uh, amplitude and compression like a tube, the model compression. We can select a preset. Right, so we can add hard limiter uh, or effect like uh, so before we can add some kind of a dynamic uh, equalization effect. You can go to uh, filter and EQ, uh, parametric equalizer or something like that, vocal enhancer preset. And next we can add the hard limiter effect. Right, so we can limit to like uh, minus uh, 1 dB. Now you can see uh, we have added a uh, few effects. You can also change the parameters uh, based on your requirements and uh, right like so. We can change these things and once you uh, once you get your audio file into the perfect uh, situation uh, when it sounds great then uh, you can save this effect track as a preset right. In order to do that uh, go to this uh, icon save effects rack as a preset. Click on that and it will ask you to preset name. You can set a name that is uh, self explanatory to you like uh, uh, podcast voice or you can put the client name let's say Rita podcast podcast uh, voice and click OK right so when you get a new another day when you get a new uh, audio file from this client you can easily select that preset here Rita podcast let's say we change that and we got this Rita podcast voice we can easily add that and hit apply that way we can add the effect very easily to our audio files on a regular basis so it's a very good uh, practice and if you want to save this effect track as a favorite there is another way you can see there is a star icon here when you click on that save current effect track as a favorite when you click on that it will ask to uh, give a name for the favorite like you can set a name like uh, Rita podcast Right, Rita podcast click OK and it will now available on the uh, favorite menu you can see Rita podcast as a favorite. So now when you get a new file you can easily go to the favorite menu and uh, Rita podcast you can see now it just process within few seconds and it uh, applied to the uh, audio and that way we can easily uh, do the voiceover processing inside Adobe Audition and that is how save effects as presets inside Adobe Audition.